Hello everyone, so Sungura is one of the most popular genres in Zimbabwe and Sungura is the Swahili name for a hair because of the fast-paced dance styles, uh, especially one called Museve and that's also my one and only dance move. <music> One Zimbabwean musician traveled to Zaire in the 1940s and fell in love with the Kanindo beat there. Uh, and he imported Kanindo from Zaire, or uh, now known as DRC, uh, and imported it to Zimbabwe and introduced it to Zimbabwe artists. And they created a genre called Sungura. By the 80s, Sungura was the most popular genre in Zimbabwe, and the biggest band in the time was a band called the Sungura Boys, uh, led by. Euphrin Joe and it had very talented guitarists and lyricists some of them you might know of them uh, such as John Chibadura, Simon Chimbetu, Nyson Chimbetu and uh, System Tajida. After they disbanded, the artists in this band would keep recording individually and trailblazing an eternal legacy, taking the genre to new heights and earning themselves the title of Sungura Legends. Some of them, like Zakaria Zakaria, influenced artists like Alec Macheso, who took Sungura even further. And some artists, like Simon Chimbetu, created a shoot off genre of Sungura called Dendera, which we which I think it's it sounds actually more like a ninja. so it's almost like Chimbetu went backwards but this is my favorite uh, genre uh, of Sungura. So a little bit of Sungura theory here so the chord progression or set of chord changes used to play Sungura is mostly one four one five or Chamutengure meaning you can sing the Chamutengure melody on almost all Sungura songs and it will fit in nicely. And before you think this is redundant or simplistic, you must be amazed at how these artists are able to keep on making unique songs even after thousands of songs that use Chamutengure. And before you discredit Sungura, it's not the only genre that abuses the Chamutengure chord progression because Zim Dancehall also uses Chamutengure a lot with artists like Nox and Killer T having 99% of their songs all being Chamutengure. And it's also not always African music, also Western music like rock and pop also abuses that 1415 chord progression a lot, especially if we substitute either one with a six. Uh, then it like a lot of songs use this chord progression. So I think uh, I think this means it's just a very convenient chord progression, maybe. And another interesting thing about Sungura is that the concept of playing chords doesn't exist. Everyone in the band is playing single notes. That's how you can have three electric guitarists playing all at the same time, uh, but not sounding muddy or not sounding they're playing on top of each other. And this idea of playing single notes notes rather than chords came from the instruments that were traditionally played in the area, uh, mainly marimbas and more mostly the mbira. And the band setup is usually like three electric guitarists, like two rhythm guitarists, one uh, lead guitarist, a bassist, a drummer, a vocalist, and either two backing vocalists or dancers, or th the band members would also uh, sometimes double as the backing vocalists uh, or even dancers. And the people in the bands are mostly male for reasons I would rather not get into. But uh, if you know any female Sungura artists, please put them in the comments. And I'm glad Sungura is far from being dead because other the younger artists are coming into the game and even YouTubers like Eriki who will honestly do a much better job teaching about this genre than, than I can. So I followed one of his tutorials for uh, one of uh, an Alec Macheso song and this is uh, what came out. Okay but before we do that I recently discovered another Sungura YouTuber uh, and he really does a good job of explaining uh, the Sungura theory and the little like 
certain tricks of Sungura uh, and he's really good. I'll also leave his uh, link to his channel in the description. And this was much more harder than I expected. Very, very complicated. It took me a very long time to learn this. So I don't think if you just can play jazz or something, you can you can do it. You actually have to put a lot of practice into it and I've uh, got a lot of respect uh, to people who play this. So Sungura theory video is coming. What's up?